volcanic ash cloud throws Champions League final in jeopardy. We'll hear from Gus Hiddink later, but first we're going live to Milan where we'll hear from Jose Mourinho. Ash is no problem. People say I'm worried by Ash, but I'm not. He's my friend. I'm still friends with Ash. He phones me, says I'm worried because Cheval is always with Gazal Or maybe with X Factor, or maybe Britain's Got Talent, or maybe a L'Oreal commercial and then never comes on. And I say, why don't you take some pictures of yourself in your pants? And then send out a picture several times. He says he's done this, but he thinks she might have sent them to uh, wrong people uh, accidentally. And now she cheats. So I said, let's hope she's not with John Terry. Because then he would be really Fascinating stuff there, Phil. Well, I uh, understand we can now go live to Munich, where Dick Advocado is about to announce his team's travel plans for the final. Und vielleicht! Robots! Well, that's certainly gone down well here in Berlin, uh, hasn't it, Phil? Oh, it certainly has, Jim. It's a good approach, and of course, it's very good for their carbon footprint. Uh, which, uh, I can just interrupt you there, Steve. We're going to go back to Milan now for a reaction to this news from Jose Mourinho. He just says he's going to come and park a bus. A big final to park a bus. It's not good for fans. It's not good for football. It's not good for a world game. I'm not happy. Uh, what are you going to do to counter it, Jose? What I do? I'm going to park a bigger bus. Ooh, exciting stuff there, Ken. Well, we're now joined by Fabio Capello. Can you hear me, Fabio? That's clearly not the right footage, John. You're still pulling this crap? Jesus Christ, I mean, pull your finger out. Pull your <laughs> 